the city of Tequila is involved in an important study of whether its fire and emergency medical services should be provided by the city, as it currently is, or by a regional fire service provider. Here is a quick overview of the Tequila Fire Department as it currently stands. There are four fire stations throughout the city that are staffed by professional firefighters seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Tequila's Fire Department receives the second highest amount of funding from the city's general fund, only surpassed by the city's police department. An important focus of the fire personnel is staying trained and up-to-date so that they can quickly and successfully respond to 911 calls, the majority of which are for emergency medical services. Some people wonder why we would even investigate moving to an RFA, particularly given the high level of fire and emergency services in Tequila. There are a few reasons for this effort. Consolidation with the RFA will build on the existing collaboration between our department and the Kent RFA, which includes the South King County Training Consortium and the Zone 3 Association of South King County Emergency Service Providers. The RFA has a dedicated funding source not available to cities, which has the potential to secure the long-term stability of fire service in Tequila. Finally, as you saw on the last slide, the vast majority of 911 calls are aid-related. The Kent RFA operates a program called FD Cares, which helps community members address chronic medical needs and get appropriate care, but in a non-emergency manner. This type of program will aid some of our more vulnerable residents, save money in the long term, and allow for a more effective response force for urgent calls. Ultimately, the City Administration and Council have been clear that moving toward the RFA will only happen if we can ensure the same high level of service maintained after an annexation. Exploring annexation to the RFA is not new. In fact, this conversation started back in 2010. That initial effort stopped in 2012 because the Kent RFA was focusing on a partnership with SeaTac and was unable to concentrate on both cities. There was agreement at the time that we would reconvene once the Kent RFA had the ability to devote more time to the investigation of Tequila annexation. So why the Kent RFA? The Kent RFA was formed in 2010 and they are well experienced with the necessary milestones in forming an RFA as well as operating a successful public safety organization for the last five years. We share borders, already enjoy a collaborative relationship with them, and they are interested in providing fire and emergency services within the city of Tequila. The Kent RFA is a regional fire and service provider that was formed in 2010, approved by 72% of the votes cast. They serve multiple jurisdictions and are governed by a regional board. Should the city of Tequila move forward with an annexation vote, and it is approved by over 50% of the voters, Tequila would be represented in the newly created governance structure. At the direction of the Tequila City Council, a steering committee was formed to more thoroughly review the cost and benefits of an annexation to the RFA for fire and emergency services. The steering committee is made up of representatives from various stakeholder groups. Representing Tequila residents are Jerry Thornton, Jessica Gerwa, and Kathleen Wilson. The business community representatives are from Westfield South Center, CBRE, which provides commercial real estate services in various locations in Tequila, and Sigali Properties, a commercial property owner and developer with a long history and large portfolio in Tequila. Three current Tequila firefighters are also on the committee, including the president of International Association of Firefighters, Tequila Local 2088. Council members Joe Duffy and Verna Seal serve on the committee on the behalf of the City Council and City Administrator David Klein and Interim Tequila Fire Chief Chris Flores are there on the behalf of the City staff. In addition, the Kent RFA has non-voting representatives on the committee. The committee is engaging in an in-depth analysis of this issue, which includes four main areas of study. First, we want to ensure that a potential annexation would provide at a minimum the current level of high-quality fire and emergency services to Tequila residents and businesses. The next thing we are reviewing is the cost structure. There are a number of critical issues associated with the various facilities and assets, such as fire apparatus, that must be agreed to. And finally, as mentioned before, the City of Tequila will want to ensure that a new governance structure allows the Tequila residents and businesses to be specifically represented. Here are all the various steps that need to happen before any change can occur. The bottom line is that the final decision, should the Steering Committee and City Council recommend annexation, lies with the voters in the City of Tequila they will be the ones to decide whether to approve or not approve an annexation. 
The city is committed to being transparent through this process, and there are a number of ways that you can remain up to date on what is occurring around the RFA. We strongly recommend that you register your email address for updates and get involved at the various upcoming public meetings. Also, if you know of another group that you think would benefit from this presentation, please let us know so that we can reach out and schedule a time to brief them on the decisions ahead. Thank you for taking the time to review this presentation. If you have questions about anything you have seen here, please either call or email Maura Bradshaw at the information provided on the screen.